Wow, I'm a little tardy to the party on this one. I did not know this happened. I don't know how I missed it. Because ironically, this is a few weeks old, or like two weeks old. And the bad thing is, last week I was actually in the middle of recording. And the sad thing is, I was actually going to talk about Boogie. Now, the reason why you don't see that video is because, well, in the middle of recording it, I kind of got a little too angry anyway at the stuff I was uh, seeing and saying, and I just felt it was probably going too far. I need you to fuck off. Like, seriously, fuck off. I need you to get on your fucking hands and knees, have your girlfriend fucking film you, and say, I'm sorry, Keemstar. I'm sorry, Jordy. I'm sorry, fucking uh tommy c nicholas diorio muta fucking tom everybody that's even fucking cared about the law po call podcast i'm such a selfish attention fucking retard that i just i want attention i want to be in conversation so bad that i gave an entire the the entire storyline of what's been happening on episode one to fucking Review Tech USA, because I'm so thirsty to just to talk to someone. I'm that big of a fucking loser. Make that video, you piece of shit. So yeah, Keemstar blew the hell up. I mean, just like, like a child. Bent him over, slapped that ass, even spread his cheeks and worked him like a puppet. I'm almost positive that he will not stoop that low. There's no way a grown man is going to grovel at their hands and knees to beg instead of just being their own independent person, standing up strong, admitting they may have fucked up, and deciding to be an adult and definitely power through. I'm sorry, Tommy C. I'm sorry, Daddy Keemstar. I'm sorry, Nicholas De F De Fiorio. I don't know how to pronounce him. I'm sorry, Jordy. I'm fucking sorry. It was fucking stupid of me to go on Rich's fucking show and give away the fucking storyline. I'm a fucking attention hog piece of shit. It was fucking stupid. I should have left the moment Muda came on. I'm, I'm fucking stupid. And I'm fucking sorry. I understand your decision. I'll hand over any passwords you need, whatever you want. Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm totally lying. That, as you see, he, he, he begged. I wish I could say I feel sorry for him, but this is his own choice. He is his own man, and he decided that this was the right choice. I don't see at what point in your life you have to sit down and grovel at your hands and knees. That makes no sense. This is not that serious of a situation. I'm hoping it comes out that this is all fake and it's just a publicity stunt. But... Being how I haven't seen Mudahar say really any details of it, I'm assuming not. Now, here's the ironic part. I I went through uh, Mudahar's um, you know channel, some ordinary gamer, and I went through to see maybe he did an update that I didn't see because apparently this was a he kind of leaked what their whole uh, one of their episodes was going to be or the first episode. GameStar definitely didn't like that, so that's what the whole first part of the video was was a voice message that he went ahead and left them. Now, to see a man literally stoop so low after pretty much time and time again, and this is his fans, you see it in the comments, go look at a lot of his videos, a lot of people, you know, there's still people, you know, kind of cheering him on, but at the same time, there's a lot of people that are, you can see a lot of hurt feelings in his comments, and I don't mean that lightly, nor do I mean that in any joking way to demean the, you know, the people watching his channel, but I have to say, in my opinion, Boogie's just absolute embarrassment to what is any type of form of a person. So I'm not going to say that he's not manly enough for this or he's too weak for that. But for you to get on your knees and grovel and, and cry and basically beg for forgiveness, I don't see the point in that. Uh, you can make an honest mistake where you messed up or... You know, some kind of NDA style type thing where you weren't supposed to talk about it. Yeah, you made a mistake and sometimes you just got to pay the price by like you just lose your spot on that podcast. But you are so money hungry that you are willing to do this. I think you should reevaluate your life 100 percent. I think it's absolutely detrimental that you look into everything you've done up to this point and just realize, yeah, while you've wasted all your money. On hookers and whatever else, you know, frivolous stuff you did, which made no sense to begin with, because you you weren't a, you weren't a, a, you know, you, you never adapted, and 
this is not adapting. I want you to know that now. Anybody watching this, this, this is not what adapting looks like. Okay, at all. A lot of YouTubers adapt, or if you're in the commentary community, a lot of them that I've watched for quite a few years now, a lot of them, they don't necessarily have to adapt. It's it's more of somebody that, that people go for information, live through, listen through, and they find it more entertaining, or just background noise. Whatever your choice is for the reason for listening to commentary people. This is not a... a I don't think anybody could honestly back this deplorable uh, reaction to how Keem yelled at him. And I'm not going to sit here and talk trash about Keem. Everybody knows that he's a bit of an asshole. And for you to work for him, you should have known that if you did anything that he felt would threaten him, th this would be the outcome. Or at least that would be something he would probably even ask. I don't agree with him asking that. I think it's kind of shitty. But it's it's Keemstar. Everybody knows how he is. Ever since iDubbbz, which I can't believe I'm speaking of that guy. But even since iDubbbz did his uh, content cop, they kind of exposed a lot of it. And even H3H3, that trash-ass person, you know, they've even uh, talked about it. This is not unexpected. I'm not defending Keemstar. I don't like Keemstar myself. But, like, you're going to go into business with him and expect, what, candy canes and a free ride? It makes no sense how you can just sit there and assume that He's going to be your messiah, your savior, like basically, I don't know, a religious figure to you at this point. The man is smart. He knows money. That's all he cares about. But the only difference between Boogie and him is he's successful in making that money. He's successful in selling ideas of some sort on his channel. Now, you don't have to watch it. I'm not going to watch it. I don't think he's entertaining. Uh, or rather, I don't think his style is entertaining to me. Uh, my entertainment's more a little bit duller and probably more, I don't know, British dry humor. And a couple fart jokes. I still laugh at the word butt sex. I think, um, I, I played Teardown yesterday. And I spent enough time, embarrassingly shortish long time, using spray paint to write the word butt fucker. I, why? Because I'm a child. I'm, I'm immature. That's my humor. Keemstar is not my style of humor. People like Boogie used to be my style of humor. Uh, on his earlier stuff. Now, that was before I even even used YouTube for really anything. And to show you how immature I am, I laughed at a donkey getting kicked in the dick yesterday. Th that was hilarious. That made most of my day. And yeah, he had a chub. He was trying to get another donkey. Donkey wasn't having it. Straight just rear kicked him right in the dick. And you could see it go and like and flop. And all you hear is him do a donkey yell. I think the difference... I'm getting off track of what I'm saying, but I think the biggest thing to take away from this, Boogie obviously needs more help than a documentary than some of the exposure he's been getting. I think he needs to really reevaluate, sit down, see what kind of content he wants to make, and stop looking at embarrassing himself for extra views. And I don't mean, like, it's telling stories that are embarrassing. I don't see that being a problem. That's almost like a, a comedy routine. You know, a lot of comedians have made... Quite a bit of money off of, like, uh, self-deprecating humor. That's fine. That's not what this was. This was just sheer embarrassment. I got secondhand cringe watching that. I've made enough jokes talking about having boners when watching, you know, playing video games. If this would be a comparable situation, you best believe I am as... I, if I had a vagina down there, it's dry as a Sahara Desert. But as pathetic as it looks, it makes no sense how... I don't even know how his his lady is his old lady's okay with the fact that this this is her man begging on his hands and knees. I know I've said that probably twenty times already, but I don't know. I find it annoying. I guess I probably shouldn't rant on too long because I'm pretty sure I'd say he's beating himself up about it. But just like with everybody's pretty much said, this is what he likes. He likes to be the victim, and I think this this is a new low. But at the same time, this is what he likes. He's going to love watching everybody talk ba bad about him. I mean, if this was to even get you know, thousands of views, he would probably watch it and go, yeah, I'm such a victim. I can't wait to tell everybody how embarrassing it was in a few months and go, can you believe I did that? I'm so pathetic. And then like, boom, yeah, look at me, pathetic. I don't see how he just thinks it's like a, I don't know, I guess a, a super awesome gamer move. That's some seriously low IQ moves that you're doing right there, Boogie. And I don't know if you're ready to hear this, but I think you have officially, at least in my eyes, completely ruined any, anything. Of future endeavors or a future on anything. You, you have no respect for me.
And I think that's going to be probably my last time talking on something like this. Because unless he does something even worse, and I swear to God, I better not be putting my foot in my mouth. Please don't do anything worse. Because, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to laugh at you. I really am. And I know that's really sad and probably an asshole thing to say. But come on. Get your shit together. There's nothing more you could do to probably make you look worse. So I think my rant's over. Um, I do not wish for anybody to harass him. As you can tell from the clip, I mean, he's he's pretty much just, uh, there ain't no reason to make his life any worse uh, at all. I, I, I think he's it's finally done. He's just hit the low of almost, at this point, he'll, he'll just beg for anything. He'll do anything for a little bit of money. So, yeah, I think I'm going to leave that at that. Uh, I guess foreseeable future, we'll see how much worse he can get. Other than that, I guess I have nothing else to say. Uh, I hope you guys like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate um, all the growth I've been getting. I'm actually, I would say, probably not that far from getting 100 subscribers. That's actually really cool. So, yeah, I appreciate everything you've done, everything that uh, is going to continue going on, and I hope all of y'all have a good one.